watching Let's Chat. There it is. There's a great event coming up this weekend you don't want to miss. Yes, the Boulevard Project is putting on Culture Fest right down the road. And I'm so excited to be here today with Kareth Kearns, the project manager with Culture Chat, and Michael Miller, who is with the Boulevard Project. Is that right? Did I get all those titles right? Yes. Yeah, yes, you Awesome. Did. I'm so glad to have you guys on today to tell yeah. us all about it. What is Culture Fest? Yeah, Culture Fest is part of our summer series of markets that we do. It's part of a larger initiative to really bring attention to kind of that part of, you know, the Rossville Boulevard right there on the Georgia Tennessee state line and specifically highlight the cultures, you know, of the area and also the community at large. Now, speaking of all the cultures of the area, why is this event important? Why is it important to raise awareness to this area? Well, it being in that left out of Georgia, sometimes left out of Tennessee, right. it can get the short end of the stick. And we want to show people that um, Rossville Boulevard isn't always a scary place like some Chattanoogans like to think there are positives there. And we want to grow that area and just highlight all the beautiful and amazing people that are there and just enjoy our time. Well, tell me a little bit about these beautiful and amazing people. What can people <laughs> expect at this event? Well, there will be Sudanese food, Colombian food, Guatemalan food. So thinking like all reaches of the earth coming together, wow. um, supporting community. There will also be belly dancing. Um, and I think Coach Cherokee is coming. He'll be doing capoeira at the end of the night. What's so. that? It's kind of like an Afro-Brazilian kind of dance oh. style that's also mimics kind of fighting. And martial arts. It's like yeah. a fusion of like freely moving your body and you hear these loud drums and beatings and he'll, he'll be interactive so people can join in with him. He really loves that. So there's Sudanese and this yes. and sounds like lots of other things. Yes, it's from 5 to 9 p.m. So there's it's really family friendly. If you want to come catch the early end of the night, if you want to come later on and enjoy belly dancing and late night fun, it's also going to be like that too. Well, Tell me about the food being offered. It sounds like there will be a lot of exotic choices. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like Epcot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. it kind of is a little bit of around the world eating. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've had, you know, like like you said, we're going to have Sudanese food. Uh, we've had, you know, awesome, like Guatemalan food. Kind oh, of yes. Mexican Martha's food. tamales are going to be there. That, famous, she's right. a culture chat favorite. She's, of course, going to be um, here this Friday selling her handcrafted jewelry and her homemade tamales. So. Wow. Now, is this just a once a year thing or does do these happen frequently, these culture fests? Yeah, so the culture fest we've kind of done, I guess, once a year. But again, it's part of like a broader market that we're doing. This right. is a summer series where we've specifically focused on the first Friday of the month. Oh, okay. Um, so this is actually the second of three. We'll do one in and a And this is where our two groups are coming together and focusing on Culture Fest. Because Culture Chat, you know, we do our own things throughout the city. But Boulevard Project and Culture Chat, we have the same heart and mission and our goal. So we like to come together at least once a year and do something to promote community. Well, tell me a little bit more about the Boulevard Project and mm. what that is. Yeah, so it started kind of late 2018 and uh, by Heather Herwire and uh, Jasmine LeBlanc and others. And again, it was a real focus on the community they were already a part of and it's where I work myself. And just really, again, making it so it's not a place that you just drive by, which is yes. so many people. You know, it's just a place you commute through and we want to make it a destination really support the businesses that are there, mm. really support the families that, you know, live there, and just kind of bring more, you know, to our community. Right, more awareness to an area that people might, like you said, drive through. What's your favorite part about uh, working for the Boulevard Project? Yeah, I think it just kind of enlightens, enlightens me about an area that I thought I knew, but I've, like, made wow. so many connections with, you know, people in the community. Uh, definitely gotten so many great, you know, restaurant recommendations, you know, <laughs> right. up and down the boulevard. Uh, so yeah, it's just been incredible. I love it. And all these different nations, not just, yeah. you know, certain, it's like a very, like you said, around the world sort of food tour. And it's easy to feel like you're doing the right thing. Cause some people are scared to try new foods, but you know, when you're supporting these people, they're supporting people beyond them. That's so true. That's really a good point. So how can people get tickets and learn more about the event? Well, the when thing is, it? is, whether it's Culture Tat or the Boulevard Project, we are always free and we are oh, always family friendly. We okay. want everyone to feel like they can come and enjoy their selves, their culture, their time. So there's never, you know, really a limit on that. Although I will say that this 
Culture Fest will have adult beverages, which okay. is not something that we always offer. No, so that's for sure. It'll be right. a little fun. Are, will they be of the nation's adult beverages, or is it like... Uh, so they're brought by uh, La Familia, which oh, is a sure. local Mexican restaurant in the community. So I would assume they'd lean kind of more Mexican. How much fun. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, Always still, love that. Yeah. Who doesn't, <laughs> you know? So um, what's your website to learn more? So we have culturechat.com, and then you have... Yeah, and then uh, facebook.com slash BLVD. Oh, uh, perfect. Okay, and you can see it there up on the screen. Looks like you can be contacted also at Culture Chat, two T's, just like Let's Chat, culturechat at gmail.com, culturechat, two T's dot com, and then at, um, looks like on Facebook you said, Culture mm -hmm. Chat, and then yeah. Boulevard yep. Project. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. BLVD Project. Love yep. it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming on the show and telling us all about this. It's very interesting. Yeah. Chattanooga turns out for their community, but it's really cool to hear about, you know, especially Sudanese. I'm really intrigued by that. Uh, she, uh, her name's Rhonda, and she Rhonda. makes some really amazing stuff. Awesome. Thank you guys for coming on the show. CultureChat.com.